Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Foam Brewers Block Print Sour Fruited uh, Beer Ale thing. So another fruited sour. This one has coconut, vanilla, and orange. And it sounds like it's going to be, uh, it, just those three remind me of those, when you were at the pool as a kid and you went to the ice cream man's truck when he pulled up and you ran out with like your five quarters or whatever and you got yourself a, a, a creamsicle, an orange creamsicle yeah. uh, stick, a uh, lollipop, what the f is that called? Yeah, popsicle. What's that called? A, a popsicle, right. So, <laughs> Lollipop. <laughs> I'm too old now. I haven't had a lollipop or a popsicle in like yeah. a long time. So it's fermented with oranges and it's conditioned on vanilla beans and coconut. Fermented with oranges. Mm -hmm. So they just dump that into the fermenter and yes. account for the extra sugar content or something like that, I guess. So the can also says Bonanza Design. And I'm guessing that's the artist that created the block print looking artwork for this can. Uh, it's rather cool how it wraps around and then cuts itself out and then sort of like mm. wraps around again. That's it's pretty neat, I like that. So the block print, um, it's actually a series of fruited sour eels that Foam does. And I don't know how often they do them, but they do switch out the ingredients. So this one in particular has like oranges and coconut and vanilla. The, there are others with strawberries, others with like other fruits and not coconut, vanilla, and something else. This is, I mean, this is the first that I've had out of their block print series. The color is like this pale straw, sort of like bright straw color. And it's uh, yeah, like semi-translucent, I guess. Let's take a, a sniff on this one. It smells exactly what I thought it would smell like. Getting, it's a little vanilla there. Getting coconut and vanilla. I don't get any of the orange. I do, I get it like that. Yet. Maybe like the rind, maybe slightly. The punchiness of the citrus I'm getting. But it's it's not very prominent though. I'm yeah. getting a lot of vanilla. A lot of vanilla. A lot of vanilla. I think they're gonna overdose on the vanilla and lactose and then yeah. everything else is gonna be like a kind of afterthought. That's just my guess, though. Let's dive into this one and see what it actually tastes like. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's so tart. Oh, shit. Mmm. Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> that hit, okay, so when, when, when I drank that, the first thing, right on the, right on the tip of your face. <laughs> the, the first thing right on the tip of my tongue was like this, like, uh, it almost felt like I got a shot at the doctor. It really tickles the front, ooh. It really tickles the front of your, of your tongue in a really aggressive way. And then it just follows through. Oh, it's tart. It's really tart. You know what's interesting is that we really weren't getting a lot of orange. As a, as a as a note when you, sm when you smelled it, but then it's, that was the, the first note I got when I tasted it though. After that sourness, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's like straight orange. Straight up orange. But more like the rind of the orange. It's not even like the fruit of the orange because it's so freaking sour. It's like the white part inside the orange peel. Yeah. It's like really that stuff that no one sour. eats. Sour, yeah. It's like really puckeringly sour. This is This is puckeringly sour. This is rattling the fillings in my teeth. And I'm not getting any coconut. I'm Barrels. getting a little bit, maybe. I think it's more of a vanilla. But it's masked. Than a coconut, yeah. So it, once again, it like teases your senses because I was expecting yeah. to get loads of vanilla and coconut and like more of a dreamsicle or more of a creamsicle taste to it. And I'm getting none of it. This is a straight orange tart ale. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. If you like aggressively sour beers, this one's right up your alley. It's very tart. 
followed by an immense kind of tart tangerine rind flavor and maybe a hint of vanilla on the back. Just, yeah, fall, just, 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 just. Just to kind of balance it out just a little bit. But yeah, not too much complexity happening here either. If you like sour beers, I could see this being an awesome choice. For me, a little over the top in the sour department and not as lactosey as I felt like it was gonna be. Like, like take the 903 Brewers uh, one, we had the slushy beer, uh, the Aslan right. copycat one. Um, those types of beers are so dense and so creamy and, and like thick that they mask potentially all of that sourness, which can be a good or a bad thing depending on your, you know, personal preference on sours. But to me, I don't like my sours all that sour. And this is definitely in that territory yeah. of like, holy shit, that's sour. I have to say I'm quite spoiled because I do drink sours, but I'm spoiled in the sense where I've I've jumped on the smoothie sour bandwagon. Right, wagon. that's what I'm talking so about. So that's that really is... not sour or tart. It's it's barely tart, but it's more sweet. It's more like a smoothie, like that yeah. Drecker one I just had. The Drecker one was great. We Which, should put that on channel. Yeah, I think we will do that next. It's okay, so it's akin to having a, a New England style IPA and then going right to a traditional West Coast IPA, going straight to Pliny. Yeah. And being like, whoa, that is that is ultra, ultra sharp because you're just not used to it. Yeah. Same idea. It's I mean, quite this is, tart. This is like what they were like when they first started coming out. Yeah. And they first started hitting the scene. This is what sour ales were. You know, there's no other way to put all those flavors into one beer. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Yeah. You gotta get more body in there. Otherwise that lacto bacillus just takes over everything and all you get is that sour, that sourness, which is largely what this beer, I mean, yes. is. So I don't know. I mean, I like foam beers. Normally I have their IPAs. I like I their like normal beers maybe. Um, I have to say I'm kind of disappointed just because it's, not what I expected it to be. Maybe if it was just called a tart ale, I'd be okay with this because going in, I'm aware that it's just a tart ale. But when I see coconut and vanilla and orange and- And lactose. And lactose, I immediately, I start to gear towards like Where? this is going to be a smoothie, right. a sweeter right. sour ale. I'm curious to figure out why lactose was even added to this beer. Because it doesn't right. seem like it really even needs it, unless it was like so damn sour that they had to do it. Like they knew it was gonna be just a sour like monster and they had to do it, otherwise like people's heads were gonna explode. And so to cut down on that, they, they had to add lactose. Or maybe it's because of the flavorings that they, they wanted to put in it. It doesn't seem like foam to put something like this out and claim that it has lactose and all these things that would make you assume that it's a smoothie style kind of fruited sour and instead it comes out just like a traditional sour beer. I think it's just, I mean, from the other pictures I've seen of their other versions of block print, they all look relatively light bodied beers. They all contain lactose, but they're nothing like what you would expect. But they're all kind of like, sort of like this. They're slightly clear, they're vaguely yeah. hazy. Yeah, they're not really like a smoothie style looking uh, beer. So I think this is their intention, and this is just their version of what they consider a fruited sour ale. Mm. And in some ways I can respect that because with the apocalyptic amount of adjuncts being added to these, to these sour beers, maybe they took the high road and they're saying, we don't want to add, we'll, we'll add the crazy right. ingredients, but we're not going to go like super overkill yeah. and like do that. Like they're yeah. taking the opposite road as 903 Brewing and making what they consider to be a more tra a more traditional uh, sour ale yep. instead of this crazy adjunct laden soup of a yeah. concoction, right? Yeah, like soup is a good soupy. It's, it's some of these smoothie ales are just like tastes like Campbell's. They look it is what it is, and it is from foam, and it is a super tart, fruited sour ale. All right, guys, well, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.